Our offering today, um, congregation, is for our local GEMS and Cadets uh, ministries. Uh, we are not entirely sure how those are going to look in the fall, uh, but there, there are options that are being explored, so we'll see. And uh, certainly we want to continue to support those ministries so that uh, whenever we can start in person, uh, cadets and gems ministries they will be able to start up uh, quickly and well so that is our offering today uh, and for congregational prayer I uh, would just like to ask you to pray for Wendy uh, Wendy had a bit of a fall uh, she's okay uh, no bones were broken or anything but she did uh, she did severely strain some muscles and is uh, is not doing super well in terms of uh, pain and being able to walk. So uh, please pray for Wendy and for John as well. Um, they're they're going to be just fine, but just pray for them uh, as well. Now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we pray that you will be with our children. Not only our own children, uh, those who are members of this congregation or who have bap been baptized here, but all of the children of Athens and the surrounding area, all of the children who attend Pineview or Heritage or ADHS, uh, all the children in this area, God, please be with them. These are uh, trying times for children. And it is no less trying that they can't participate in some of, the, uh, some of the programs that they have traditionally been able to be part of, some of the ministries that they have been able to partake in. Lord, we pray for our GEMS and Cadets ministries, O oh God. We know that uh, whatever uh, ministry will look like in this fall, it will not look exactly like it has in the past. Um, but Lord, we, we just pray uphold our leaders we uphold uh, those who volunteer for those uh, ministries we uphold our parents lord uh, we know that normally we, we think in terms of the church and the school and the parents all providing uh, the the teaching that children need to grow in the knowledge of you O oh god and yet um, the the teaching provided by the church uh, is is not as available as it normally is through um, children's ministries. And so we pray that you will strengthen parents and encourage them to be vigilant and perseverant in raising their children in the way that they should go. Lord, we pray too that you will not only do this for, as I mentioned, our children, but all of the children of this world. Oh God, may they all come to know you if they do not know you already. And if they already have the faith of a child, we pray that you will strengthen that over the course of their lives. Lord, we pray too that you will be with Wendy. Uh, Lord, we, we thank you that she did not injure herself uh, further uh, in her fall, and we pray that uh, you will bless her. Lord, we thank you also that we are able to celebrate a baptism uh, this week. Lord, we pray uh, that you will bless uh, Stephanie and Brian and Adeline and Charlotte. Lord God, we pray that you will guide us as well as we come to part 11 of our sermon series. Lord, would you open our hearts and minds that we would hear what you would have us hear and that we would learn and grow more and more into maturity in Christ. Father, we pray for all of those in our congregation who are struggling with illness, who are struggling with depression, who are struggling in any way, O oh God. May they know your comfort and be encouraged by your presence. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.